Hey, what's up? Yin here, and today I'd like to talk about this uh, FIO FD11. It is a single dynamic driver IEM, and the retail price for this is just 31 US dollars. So, if you want to find out more, please check out the unaffiliated links in the description below. And I just want to add if uh, for those of you who are fans of this um, blonde BL03, um, yeah, these two sound very, very similar. Uh, very similar tuning as well uh, but I would say the FD11 sounds much much better than the Blonde BL03 which I'll explain later in this video. Right, so this video uh, I'll go through the accessories, design, build quality, fit and comfort, I'll compare it with some of the IEMs and then I'll conclude if this is worth your 31 US dollars or not. Now this video will have timestamp so please feel free to skip around. Okay, so let's not waste any time, let's go through the accessories. Uh, very nice box, right? And inside the box you'll find the user guide, a velcro strap, the ear tips and the cable. Uh, ear tips are actually pretty good. I mean it's standard ear tips like dome, dome shaped ear tips uh, but they do the job. Good quality uh, ear tips is not those flimsy ones. So yeah very nice ear tips and then the um, cable is a twisted 4 core cable terminated with a angled 3.5 headphone jack and a Y splitter and the overall ear hooks are actually pretty good and it's got color coding as well so that you can identify the left side and the right side so overall the cable is not the best cable it's also not the worst uh, just let me show you the cable of the BL03 I mean it's a mess it's a rat's nest so but this one, even though it tangles, it still, you know, it gets untangled quite easily. La. So yeah, pretty okay cable. Now let's talk about the IEM itself. Uh, the build quality and the design of this is actually pretty good. Uh, this shell is made out of uh, uh, zinc alloy, right? The entire shell is made out of zinc alloy with a mirror-like finish. So you can actually see yourself. Uh, it's just that this is going to be a fingerprint magnet. Uh, but for zinc, right, I think zinc is pretty easy to wipe off. So yeah, uh, pretty manageable type of material. And as for, for the faceplate, you get this like a pentagram kind of a design whereby if you look at it at a different angle, you get a different design kind of thing. And uh, it's quite mystical, lah, okay. But yeah, very, very nice uh, faceplate. And uh, in a shell, uh, it's actually quite unique also. Uh, now inside here, there is a 10 millimeter uh, carbon diaphragm kind of uh, driver and at the same time it's got this acoustic chamber a conch shaped acoustic chamber whereby the resonance sound is escaped uh, through like a flute shape lah. basically it's got a vent here and what happens is that a resonance sound can escape in a very acoustic manner so that it gives you a bit more air at the same time it will reduce the resonance of uh, whatever sound you're listening to from the nozzle okay so uh, that's a very unique design uh, okay that's that's what they say because i can't open up and see what's inside but overall uh, this is actually a very nice design a very well built IEM uh, in terms of fit and comfort uh, fit my ear very well and um, if you guys remember about what I said about the BL03 BL03 they fit my ear very nicely uh, some people may not like the fit of the BL03 and it's going to be the same for this FD11 but I sleep with these BL03 and so same goes for this FD11 I can sleep with these um, FD11 it goes into my ears very very deeply into my ear canal and it stays there and it gives me a very good seal as well so no complaints about the fit and comfort and very comfortable for my ears doesn't give me any pain at all the only complaint I would say is maybe this part here because this part has got to come out of my ear because they go in really deep and this part have to jut out so this part will press against uh, the side of my ear which is a little bit uh, you know uncomfortable uh, but other than that in terms of fit this fit me very well now let's talk about the sound then uh, now in terms of the drivability the drivability of this is really easy to drive uh, I use this with my iPad my iPhone my Android phone my Android tablets uh, my dabs my DAX 
uh, they they are really easy to drive uh, usually I listen to this at about 40% volume uh, and yeah I don't need to crank up the volume volume at all is very easy to drive uh, and the um, sauce which I recommend is something warm I would recommend something like the FC6 right this is a pretty warm sounding uh, dongle okay and then uh, for the depths I would say maybe the high bees all right this is actually pretty good pretty not really warm but it's pretty good and then maybe the Sony Sony sounds really warm and very organic uh, with this uh, earphones it matches really well and also the iPod as well so iPod also sounds really organic very um, musical I would say uh, and it pairs really well with this FD11 now the gear that I don't recommend is things like maybe the Questile M15 this is too dry too too analytical for it and also for dabs I would say the Shangli M0 Pro this is a little bit too dry as well too technical uh, for for this FD11 okay so yeah pair it up pair it up with something warm and then you enjoy this uh, FD11 now in terms of uh, tone and timbre the tone and timbre for this is warm as I mentioned is heavy in note is musical is fun is casual uh, type of uh, I am so if you want to listen to your uh, tracks um, very in the casual manner this is actually a very good tone and timbre to match that it's not you know unnatural it's not um, that natural as well it's pretty warm uh, in terms of the timbre uh, in terms of technicalities I would say this is actually a pretty above average type of uh, performance uh, in terms of soundstage is uh, outside my head type of soundstage it's not the widest it's not the biggest soundstage but it's outside my head it's got good width to the sides uh, and a bit to the front uh, it's got good height as well a bit to the back as well so a uh, very good soundstage a pretty natural uh, laid out soundstage I would say uh, and also for the sound separation and imaging uh, pretty natural layout okay you got your vocals in the middle and then you got your percussions all laid out nicely uh, as for orchestras they're all very nicely imaged and placed I can pinpoint the location very clearly where they are and the sound separation is very uh, good I would say yeah above average for sound separation uh, in terms of detail retrieval now uh, for the tuning of this this is not a, a detailed tuned IEM so right so this more warm more fun more casual a lot of bass kind of uh, tuning so uh, in terms of detail retrieval is not the best all right but you still can hear the clarity of this uh, IEM the resolution on this is very good so nothing um, low res about these earphones in fact it's very high res uh, it's just that in terms of detail retrieval it's all veiled by the base okay so that's for the technicalities of this now let's talk about the sound signature and for that let me bring out my graph all right so this is the graph of the fd11 which i measured so it is actually a v-shaped uh, tuned iem and it's actually quite balanced uh, in terms of the bass and the treble so you won't feel much of uh, imbalance of like, maybe a too much treble or too much bass so overall this sounds very very similar to the blonde bl03 which i'll compare with later let's focus on this first okay so for the sub bass right sub bass is actually very extended very good extension warm heavy engaging uh, it's got a full uh, body type of a rumble and i would say it's very bold as well very i wouldn't say prominent but very bold and matured uh, type of sub bass uh, mid bass is even more bolder is more forward and more present uh, as compared to the uh, the rumble and it's got very very strong impact so if you like a very impactful uh, IEM and you want to listen to your tracks especially with all the explosions of booms and all that uh, this is actually a very good IEM uh, to give you that experience and the, the and the mid bass is very warm and heavy note weight and is very present as well so yeah very very good mid bass and the overall bass shelf on this uh, is very firm very bold and very loud uh, very prominent uh, type of bass now for the lower mids which is the mids uh, instruments they are recessed right and they are um, kind of veiled by the, the bass right the bass is I mean the mid bass is fast but it's not that fast to a point whereby it does not bleed it does bleed uh, and does veil 
the mid. So instruments like the pianos, they still sound pretty good, but violins and flutes they may found you know sound a bit drowned out uh, by the the bass. Okay, uh, but the clarity is still there. It's just that the position and the overall uh, presence of the instruments they are not as you know forward as the other IEMs that I've uh, reviewed okay uh, as for vocals male vocals they sound very present and very engaging as well very musical uh, and uh, it's got a very warm tone and heavy uh, and fun kind of uh, engagement so yeah very nice uh, male vocals on these even the female vocals they sound actually pretty good uh, even though they sound recessed okay but they have got the energy there they got that bite there that presence and they sound quite bright as well for female vocals so I do enjoy both the male vocals and the female vocals on this IEM. Uh, as for the treble, treble is actually, uh, the gain to the treble is actually pretty good uh, and it's got good bite as well. It's not recessed, it's not um, underwhelming type of treble even though the bass is uh, quite prominent. That's why I say uh, this tuning is quite balanced. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit on the brighter side. Uh, if you look at the uh, mid treble here, it's got a little bit of the sibilance but it's not as sibilant as the uh, BL03. In fact, I don't hear much sibilance on this FD11, uh, most of my tracks, my test tracks. So uh, it's actually pretty safe for those who are sensitive uh, to treble. Uh, and actually, I like the presence and the overall mid treble of this uh, FD11. I mean, for my cymbal strikes, hi hats, and my uh, shakers, and all that. And in, in fact, female vocals, electric guitars, they sound pretty natural and they roll off pretty natural on this uh, FD11. Quite similar to the uh, Blonde BL03, but it's just that, you know, this one has got better. Um, brightness okay which I'll compare it with later right so that's the overall tuning of this FD11 uh, and uh, yeah overall I find this as a very balanced uh, tuned IEM and I would say it's uh, quite suitable for a lot of genre music uh, except for if you want to listen to your music in a very analytical and very technical and very dry manner then obviously this is not going to be the IEM for you but if you just want to have that casual listen and that fun you know listening to music you need to have that emotional connection to your music to your tracks that you're listening to this will give you that experience okay so yeah a very balanced uh, listening experience okay so let's compare with the Blonde BL03 and I also have the Hotto here uh, which I'll compare with later so the Blonde BL03 let me just bring out the graph all right, so the Blonde BL03 is that green line and the blue line is the FD11 or the purple line is the FD11 and looking at this and with my ears, right, they sound very, very similar. It's just that maybe the Blonde BL03 has got a bit more body in terms of a bit more bloat uh, in terms of the mid bass, uh, but the FD11 has got better extension of the sub bass uh, and it sounds uh, fuller and it actually sounds more clearer for the bit for the bass uh, overall technicalities are between these two i would say the fd11 has got more resolution uh, it's better sounding it's clearer uh, in terms of technicality sound separation uh, is better much better than the bl03 much more improved uh, than the bl03 so if you're a fan of the bl03 you want to have that similar tuning similar sound but better technicalities then I would advise you, strongly advise you to go with the FD11 uh, because this is 26 US dollars, all right? The BL03 is 26 US dollars and this FD11 is just 31 US dollars. So it's not by a lot, it's not uh, expensive by a lot, but you know, in terms of the sound, they sound the same uh, and this one has got better, better technicalities. Now, in terms of treble, treble, I would say the FD11 also has got a better treble as compared to the Blonde BL03. BL03 has got a bit of a sibilance uh, for the mid treble part here. As you can see, uh, some tracks I will find that a little bit fatiguing uh, as compared to the FT11. FT11, I don't find that fatigue. At the same time, this sounds brighter. The FT11 sounds brighter than the Blonde BL03, right? So both have very good extension in terms of the roll off of the treble, uh, but I would say the FT11 rolls off much better. It's got, um, in fact, more air as compared to the BL03. So yeah, to conclude, if you want the sound of BL03, but in a better resolution, better technicalities, 
go for the FD11. Okay. Now the next IEM that I want to compare to is this Kinera Bodor. Now Hodor, sorry, Kinera Hodor, and this Kinera Hodor is three hundred US dollars. Uh, this FD11 is just thirty dollars, so it's ten times the price. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the uh, Hodor. Let me just bring out the graph. Okay, so to be fair, the Hodor has got one extra driver, and this has got one extra BA. Uh, both have 10 millimeter, uh, 10 millimeter dynamic drivers uh, and looking at the graph uh, they look quite similar as well right but the FD11 has better extension in terms of the rumble it's got uh, well I would say more sub bass it's more rumbly it's got a firmer full bodied rumble as compared to the Hodor uh, at the same time uh, the mid bass is quite similar right both sounds very warm very musical very organic Okay, uh, but the Hodor, I would say, sounds better uh, in terms of the air. Okay, the treble. Treble sounds better and more separated. Uh, better technicalities, to be fair. Uh, you know, the Hodor has got one extra driver here. The sound separation on the Hodor sounds better. It's better separated. And the imaging is better as well. Sound stages are almost about the same. Uh, but in terms of resolution, uh, I would say the Hodor is a bit more resolute uh, as compared to the FD11. Uh, so yeah, in terms of sound, they sound pretty similar, but in terms of technicalities, the Hodor is a bit better, okay, because it's, you know, it's one extra driver. Uh, but is, you know, is, is it justifiable to be 10 times more expensive than the FD11? I mean, you guys be the judge, okay? But in terms of the price, I, I would say in terms of price to performance, definitely the FD11 will be the champion. Uh, if you compare with the Hodor, okay? Right, so that's my overall comparison uh, with the two other IEMs, so let's conclude. Uh, basically, for the FD11, uh, in terms of price, the performance uh, is definitely uh, performing above its price point. It's just 31 US dollars. It's got a very big sound, very organic, very musical uh, sound, very casual listening type of experience. And you, if you are into the um, Blonde BL03, uh, definitely this is, I mean, this is a legend you know to me the blonde bl03 has got a very unique uh, very big sound uh, and very bold sound now this fd11 will dethrone the bl03 and you know give you that similar sound but with a better technicalities a better performance in terms of resolution and everything else right so that concludes my overall review for this FD11, I do recommend you to get this at just 30 US dollars. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you learned something from this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. So that's it for now. I hope you guys have a great day ahead and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.